hello guys so today we will be seeing a new program and this is uh, about finding factorial of any number for example we need to find factorial of 5 so uh, so do that uh, what we need to do so uh, for factorial is something like this so 5 let's see we have to find the factorial of 5 then uh, the output should be this 5 into 4 not exactly the output, the output would be the calc after calculating this value uh, that would be the output. So 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So that we uh, so that we say as 5 factorial. So what so what is that value? So 5 into 4 it's 20, 20 into 3 is 60, 60 into 20, 120 and 120 into 1, 120. So now if I make it 6 factorial, then 6 would be added here. Right. So the value would be like 120 into 6. So it would be around 720, right? Yep. So 720 and uh, so that's that by this way we need to find the factorial of a number so if someone is asking you to find the factorial of 15 then you need to do this manually right so we, if you have a calculator or if you have a program which you can do it so that would be uh, very helpful for us right so uh, let's say we implement have to implement this logic uh, using this java program so how can how can we do that uh, so there is one way uh, there is two way to do that one is the first way today I will be showing you that and probably in the another day we'll be seeing the second way uh, which is using recursion so today we are not covering the recursion one we are covering the basic one so let's understand that so first we need to take the number right so uh, we'll be using sys out so enter the number okay and now uh, user will be prompted to enter a number so we need to use the scanner class here uh, scanner scan new scanner and here we'll be using system dot in Okay, and then we'll be using scan dot next uh, scan dot next integer, and uh, that would be our number, right? So we'll be we'll be catching it. We'll be uh, putting it in a vari variable. So our variable name is number. So number equals to uh, scan the area so we got the number right so we need to fact get a factory of this number so now we'll be running a for loop first for integer i equals to zero i less than number and i plus plus so we'll see whether it is working or not i mean i i think uh, what we have to do here uh, we have to decrease the i variable so that uh, we can multiply it uh, with a factorial so the logic would be like this so uh, let's say uh, first our factorial value is six i mean our number is six right so we got the six value now we have to multiply with six into five so how do we get this five so uh, to get the five uh, we need to decrease this i variable let's say i equals to now six so six is number right so we put this number and will be will be looping till uh, i value is not uh, i value is more than zero right greater than zero so i equals to number and it will it should be executed until i value is greater than zero and i minus minus so once i is negative or zero uh, in that case uh, this loop should be ended okay so let's see uh, and there should be another number we need to uh, think about it it is about integer uh, factorial 
okay so this value is initialized to 0 and we'll get it here so factorial equals to factorial dot okay so here i think our logic is not working correctly because if you see factorial value is currently zero right so zero into i it would be always zero so we need to implement a different logic here so we are close to one so what we will do here okay so let's do one thing uh, let's put this number value in the factorial okay now here we'll be doing number minus one so now factorial value ha has a value of six so here six will be coming and then uh, i minus uh, so number minus one which is actually currently the value is number is six so six minus one five so five comes here and six into five these values will be calculated as 30 so this value will be going to the factorial right now factorial is currently 30 6 into 5 30 right next we have to multiply with 4 so how do you get 4 so it would be after this first iteration it would be i value would be become uh, 5 minus 1 4 so now 30 into 4 again factorial will be coming here and by this way it will be uh, continuing so let's run it and let's see whether we are getting 720 or not okay there is some error let's see why okay i think i missed the semicolon so i just kept the semicolon and now if i run it okay some something wrong because uh, what you have to do you have to also print the factorial right i mean there's nothing wrong but i think i missed the uh, run as java program so i will print the value of the factorial so uh, factorial of number is factorial okay so let's run it now correctly and this okay we got the prompt now i will be entering 6 and i can see the factorial of 6 is 720 right so uh, let's uh, rerun it once again and give a different number so let's say i'm giving 5 so it's giving correctly right 5 factorial is 120 now let's give a bigger number uh, let's say give a number of 10 and we can see like the 10 factorial is 36000 or whatever number it's like uh, i think 20, 36 lakhs right okay so by this way we can uh, we can we can uh, use it and there is one more thing like uh, let's say the integer range is too low right so i can make it as a long number and i can um, do it as long as well so we can we can take bigger number right so let's do that as well so next long okay and here instead of i do here we can make it as long so we are actually using we do not need it but just for the for this program i am doing it we, we can make it as integer only because we are not going beyond 10 anyhow so for let's say we need to do for maybe 50 right so it would be quite big 50 factorial is quite big so we won't be doing going to do that uh, or maybe let's try it let's do it 50 so let's see what is happening okay you can see it's uh, the range is more than this the long into long value which can take long data type which can take okay so it's going beyond that limit and uh, so that is why it is giving the negative value so let's do 12 let's run one more time and let's enter 12 and see what value it's giving so now it's giving correctly i believe i'm not going to calculate it and i hope you have understood it so thank you for watching